now after the last time where we left off uh, we actually met into some problems with the american adventure lab cargo shelf which is actually uh, the holes uh, do not line up and well after some drilling we managed to get everything all in and here's what i did to get the holes aligned <music> Now after that much drilling, we finally managed to get all the holes aligned and as you can see over here, all six of these bolts and nuts are nicely fitted and tightened and there's a countersunk screw over here that um, is flat with the surface of the shelf so that you can actually slide it in because of the brackets that you are going to attach it to. So now we will continue on this uh, installation, it's going to be quite a fast one because we are just left with about two to three more steps. So now we'll move on to actually install these uh, what we call edge guards. So um, these edge guards is uh, very simple. It's just six bolts. Okay, um, align them with the holes on the shelf. Then you can actually start um, putting in the bolts. Oops. Okay, that's one. Then that's two. Three. Okay, to prevent this thing from falling over, you can actually start to hand tighten the nuts to the bolts from below so let me at least uh, fasten one in okay there you go so now um, we can continue to actually uh, bolt in all the other holes Okay, and now we'll start tightening them with a uh, Allen key and a 10mm wrench. So let's start over here. Okay. So as you can see, we have completed one side of the rack uh, and now we'll proceed to go on to the other side of the rack. So we'll turn this around. Whoops. Okay, that's a bad idea. So let me lay this flat, get the bolts out and continue on with our work. Let me keep these nuts. Okay. Just one, two... Okay, now we'll flip this thing over so that you guys can have a good uh, camera angle and we'll go ahead to take the other side up okay and we'll go ahead to thread the bolts into the holes so line them up and you can start threading it in and um, it's going to be exactly the same as i've done previously so we can just safely go into time-lapse mode and get these um, things bolted in so that we can continue on Okay, so now that we have completed bolting the two um, guts onto the rack, um, this is actually um, the completion of fixing up the rack uh, prior to installation in the boot of the Jeep JL Wrangler. And um, according to the instructions, you are actually supposed to uh, mount the shelf mount onto the roll bar first before you fix up the shelf but um, I feel like it is actually better to spend some time to fix up the shelf, the main shelf before we actually go on to the back of the cargo rack, uh, cargo area to fix up the shelf um, supports so now we will actually go to the back of our JL Wrangler Rubicon to show you how to attach the brackets to the roll bar 
Now that we are in the back of our JL Wrangler Rubicon, um, these are the two brackets that's going to be installed on the roll bar. So um, just to let you have a look at what it's going to look like. So let's dust it off and it's going to be somewhere over here, okay, in this area. So before you actually um, mount it in, what we're going to do is we have to remove this trim piece over here and on the other side of the roll bar over here. So um, it's just like installing your soft top. When you install your soft top, you need to get these two trim pieces removed. So now I'll go ahead to remove them. All you have to do is uh, pry them off. Okay, get a good grip, pry them off, and you can see they are off. And you'll be able to see there are two bolt, two uh, threads over here that you can actually screw it in. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to grab um, one of the brackets. Okay, um, this bracket is actually, as you can see, it's actually um, curving outwards. Okay, so um, for this uh, installation, just be sure that um, the bracket is supposed to curve inwards towards the center of the car. So this is actually uh, the wrong bracket. This is meant to be for the other side. So now we'll take the other one here and you can see what I'm saying that um, this bracket actually curves inwards towards the center of the cabin. So what we're going to do now is using um, two M8 bolts. Okay, we are going to go ahead to screw this into the hole by hand please be careful during this step because this is a uh, metal and you don't want to scrape the uh, factory paint on the roll bar so we are going to be very careful uh, when installing this uh, piece of plate okay I've got one side in so now I'm going to go ahead to the other side and by hand screw it in so you can see that um, these bolts are almost in and please do not tighten them for the process now because uh, before we mount the shelf you want everything to be loose so that there's room for adjustments later so we'll leave it here as this like that and now we'll go ahead to the other side of the row bar okay just pry it out okay and you can start to Align the brackets and the holes up. Okay, and very carefully match up the thread and screw this bolt in. If you feel some resistance, you can actually use the Allen key to actually um, aid in the screwing in. So always remember, this is not supposed to be tight. It's supposed to be still able to have some play in them. So now that we are done here, um, you guys can see that this is a row of holes over here. So this row of holes is what we are going to use to determine the height of the shelf. So we'll go ahead with the highest point over here. So let us go grab the cargo shelf and try to mount that up here now. Okay, so uh, now that we are here, um, if you have an assistant, it'll be good. If not, um, this rack is kind of sturdy and quite heavy so it's going to be a challenge to install it yourself but I'm going to do that now so that's the reason why I did not remove my car fridge because I'm trying to use it as some leverage to actually uh, lever the shelf up so I'll go I'll, I already put down my passenger uh, I mean my rear passenger seats so I'm going to climb in from the side and work from inside Okay, so what's going to happen now is 
we are going to be very careful because we do not want any of this um, part of the rack to be scraping the interior vinyl surfaces and of course scraping the metal shelf so what we are going to do is that we are going to be carefully turning this around it looks like I also have to put down my other rear seat so I get more space inside so I'm going to push this in okay and I'm going to slowly line it up okay let's go in from yep so as you can see um, take your time don't rush um, slowly push it outwards okay I'm going to grab a bolt a couple of bolts or two so that I can start tightening them up um, one other thing about putting my fridge in because I need to determine the final height that I want this cargo rack to be on so it turns out that um, it's going to be a challenge to actually remove the I mean to turn to open my fridge door over here it doesn't uh, it's not able to open fully so what's going to happen is I'm going to put it at the max height for this uh, rack and as you can see the max height okay it's going to be somewhere here so I'm going to move forward and I'm going to use my legs to move the cargo shelf up let me grab the other bolt and oops that's the wrong hole sorry so it's one hole up and push it through so now you can see that uh, we have uh, pushed through two of the bolts here so I'm going to grab two more bolts and I'm going to go to the other side and I'm going to also align the holes okay one here and one here okay so after we have uh, push through the bolts okay through the holes to align them you can see that this shelf is more or less set um, I don't need to be um, supporting it anymore so we'll go ahead to take the other bolts and we will start to fill up all the holes that are aligned okay that's one and one more here okay and for the other side it's going to be one here okay and one more over here if the bolts get stuck um, just give it a good little wiggle okay and it goes through so you can see that now we have uh, all four bolts uh, that's supposed to be supporting this um, cargo shelf to the roll bar they are all in so now we'll go ahead to use the M8 nuts okay to actually start to thread them in okay so here you go this one okay I think you can put this in the actually um, even without tightening um, you can see that actually this cargo shelf is rather solid okay I can actually lean my weight on them um, it's not uh, falling or it's not even uh, shaking that much okay just a little bit of play so that um, in case of alignment problems you are still able to make small adjustments so here we go we are done with uh, one side 
Then now we'll move on to the other side. Okay. And we will start to thread the nuts onto the bolt. Okay, two more. One last one. There we go. So we have actually um, threaded the nuts and the bolts together. And now what we got to do finally for the final step, uh, we got to tighten all the nuts and bolts and it'll be a complete installation. Then um, we are done with this installation. So give me a while while I go and grab a 13mm wrench to actually um, tighten the nut over here. Okay, now that I'm back with a 13mm um, wrench, I'm going to use my Allen key to hold it in place from the back. Okay, then I'm going to start to tighten with my wrench okay tighten it hand tight will do okay okay now the outer two ones Um, just for a note of uh, recommendation, you can be using a power power tool to actually um, tighten these uh, nuts over here. But for me, I for the purpose of uh, showing you that you can actually install this rack with just a simple tool of a wrench and Allen key, um, I'm using this uh, traditional method over here. So please bear with me. Um, we can just go into time lapse mode and everything will be faster okay so now that uh, we have tightened the bolts and nuts that attaches the shelf to the support brackets We'll go ahead now, just using an Allen key, we are going to tighten these two bolts over here. So now you can fully tighten it in. Okay, so as you can see, uh, we have completed the installation of the cargo shelf and you can see that even sh trying to shake it is almost impossible it is very sturdy very very um, heavy duty um, so I got to say this is actually quite uh, impressive so now let me come out of the vehicle and uh, let me tell you some uh, features for this uh, cargo shelf so as you guys can see we have actually fully completed installation installation of this uh, American Adventure Lab cargo shelf and um, this um, bone like holes that you see over here this look like a doggy bone okay and also on the platform on the surface of the shelf this actually has a very good functional use for it you are actually able to purchase okay um, clips or even um, clips or mounts to actually uh, clip them on on these holes so that you can actually tie down your cargo or also even um, be able to um, hang certain accessories along the ledge of this um, cargo rack okay it's, I think I'll be keeping this um, shelf guard over here because uh, whatever I put on the shelf okay in case I'm going up a slope when I'm off-roading okay this is not it's gonna be the one that will actually block whatever cargo that I'm putting here uh, from actually flipping all the way back and uh, hitting the 
um, rear windscreen so I'll be keeping them on and I'm very happy that I actually chose this uh, color combo um, a combination of red powder coat and a black powder coat uh, American Adventure Lab comes with uh, different um, color options you can even have it in bare aluminum and steel so for me I like it um, to have some contrast between the red and the black and what's uh, great is that by having this uh, red and black combination for this logo over here that you see that's the American Adventure Lab logo you actually have a red backing so I find this uh, very nice so like I say um, this rack actually serves a lot of purpose because as you know there's really a lot of wasted space in the boot of your JL Wrangler and by actually putting a shelf here you not only have just one layer now you have double layer to put more stuff to secure more stuff securely and also at the same time you are able to um, expand your mounting capabilities in your boot so with that being said thank you very much for watching this episode with me I'm really sorry that I have to split this part into two parts because um, actually this is a very straightforward and easy install that I could have just finished in one part but nevertheless we have completed the installation and we do have a few other American Adventure Lab um, mods that we are going to be installed on my Rubicon so at a, um, stay tuned to us for installing them uh, and of course we have not forgotten Emily's Wrangler Rubicon um, what's happening is that there's some delay to some of her parts uh, from the USA so we are still waiting for her parts to come in so do stay tuned and we'll go ahead to do up Emily's Jeep Gel Wrangler Rubicon and with that being said thank you for watching this episode if you have any questions or comments feel free to comment in the section below and I'll be happy to answer them if you have any um, doubts or any um, nagging questions in mind about this uh, American Adventure Lab I will show thank you very much